Okay, guys, uh, just a little tip for you, which I picked up from Linus, um, Linus Tech Tips. Shout out to you, Linus. Or oh, Linux, whatever your name is, sorry. <laughs> okay, the thumb screws, not to lose it, just put them back in. Just, you know, half screw them in, otherwise it will go over the place. And when you're done, then you can take them out to put the side panels back on, okay? Right, so come over guys, I'm gonna show you what to do for the prep for the motherboard. Now, um, I took out the motherboard, and uh, here's the, the box for the motherboard, that's the antiseptic bag. Now, you can work straight on the box, it's antiseptic, so it should be fine. So when you pick up the motherboard, please make sure also, you know, you don't try to mess the back too much, although it shouldn't be a major problem. Anyway, so what you have to do uh, is a bit of planning. The motherboard down here, that's where the motherboard back panel is going to face. And you need to know which direction the I.O. plate is going to go. So the best way to do this is actually to have kind of a, um, <clears throat> a dummy insertion. So the motherboard is going to go this way. Okay, see the back panels, sorry, my hand's in the way. Back panel is going to go this way. And you need to try and fit, there's only one way it's going to fit. Yeah, have it jiggle round, and that's it. So it's going to fit this way, you make sure it's aligned to all the holes. So therefore, the back panel, you're going to have to clip it in, and be careful, some of these I.O. shields are quite sharp and that's where you can get hurt and cut. This fan is kind of in my way right now, but I should be fine. Um, so you need to push it in until it snaps and you know it's gone in. Some of these low end quality, well, this is not low end quality, but it's just pain to do. And you push in until you hear a click. There you go, on one side. Try to do adjacent side first. There you go, click, click. Click. And a lot of people forget to do this as a first step and they put the motherboard and all the stuff and they forget the iron shield and they have to take the whole thing off again. So please remember to do this and also just quickly check whether you've done the right way, which is that should be fine. That that's in my way. I need to take this off. Okay, that's fine. Okay, the other thing that you want to do, remember I said about the standoffs. One, two, three, four. And if you see on the motherboard, we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, actually seven. Sorry, you got more than a good eight. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got eight uh, openings for the standoffs to go. So you're gonna now try and judge by placing your board down there. See which holes you need to put the standoffs in. So you got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, not all of them need holes, so I guess. So we need to put one here. Two, three, four, four more. Let's have a quick check. Um, no, it's this one. Yeah, so it's this one. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so you need to get the standoffs from. The pack of screws that came with the case. Where did I put it? Assistant, where did I put it? There you go. There are some standoffs in there. So, if you don't have them, you can buy them or you can grab them from some shops. Even for free. Standoffs, where are you? There you go. It's in there. I can see it. There's some standoffs in there. Oh, that's from the case. You should also have standoffs that came with the board. Do you? I'm gonna look for them and I'll get back to you in a few seconds. Okay. Okay guys, I found the standoffs, four of them. So uh, all you need, just grab them and screw them in. Now, some cases, especially the low end ones, they might be quite hard to screw in and you might need to use a pair of pliers. But also if you do use pliers, Make sure you're not over screwing because you might damage the, um, you know, the fillings, whatever they call it, the, the, the filings, actually. So it's one, two, if I remember correctly. Uh, the pain, I hate. I think in some cases you have quite um, like a little gadget that attaches to the top. 
might be good to get that. This one looks like a bit tight. I might need to use pliers for this one. Uh, this one is just awkwardly placed. Um, that's what you get when you buy kind of low level entry cases. I mean, it's not a major problem, but if you buy a more expensive case, some of these little problems will not be happening. Okay, so I got that one in, fine. And it's the last one. So on this hole, if I remember correctly, hope I'm not messing this up. Right. And remember, every board and every case is going to be different. So make sure you do align your standoffs to your board before you screw in. So I'm going to need to use a flyer for this one. So a little of gentle force. You shouldn't have to do this. I think you may have like a key you can do this with, okay, all of the spanners. So anyway, let me do this and I'll get back to you in a few seconds. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're going to now assemble the motherboard and the CPU and the cooler and the RAM. Now, usually for a normal build, if you're not going to put an aftermarket cooler like this Evo 212, um, I would suggest you lay your motherboard on the box and you insert your CPU and the cooler and the RAM before we put in the case. It's a lot easier because you have space, you can see what you're doing. Um, in this particular one, we're going to be installing the aftermarket cooler. So there's, there's some work to be done. Now, I'm just going to show you that there, we're going to have to remove this back plate, which is screwing in this bracket. We're also going to have to remove it and replace the back plate with this one. So it's going to go at the back. Oops. And this scissor shape uh, bracket is going to go on top there. It's going to fit inside there, inside the CPU cooler, and it's going to secure the whole thing. So we're going to have to do a bit of unscrewing first. I'm still going to do, do, to do this outside of the box. I recommend you do it. You need your screwdriver. Where is my screwdriver? There we are. And uh, when you unscrew anything on the motherboard, especially to do with the CPU, try to do it in a star pattern. So you do diagonal first. And that goes the same for screwing in. Always diagonal first. Um, so if you want to check back with me in a few seconds, I'm going to undo this and we'll continue. Um, okay, guys, um, I've removed the four screws that are securing the bracket to the back plate. So we can set this to the side. I'm going now to remove the bracket. We're not going to need this. And also, if I lift this up, you can see the back plate has come up, come off. So we're going to set this to the side. Right. So uh, since I need to demonstrate how to insert this uh, CPU cooler, we're going to actually do this in the case this time. Uh, do remember, though, if you want to do a normal one, it's better to do it out here in the box. But because I have to screw in and show it on both sides, I wouldn't do it in the case. So let's get the case over. First, we're going to insert the motherboard. If I get space down here. OK. Right. Turn this way, so you can see, hopefully. Oh, I think I should put this down here. Uh, before I drop anything, right. Let's turn it this way. So it's easier for me to work with. Now remember, we put the IO shield earlier and get these wretched cables out of the way. Pick up your motherboard and uh, gently lay it down and try to align inside you're gonna have to do a bit of you know lego work and make sure it kind of clicks in so the best thing to do is also to check at the back with the, all the holes if you can see turn it around oops quite a bit of space here. As you can see, you're making sure that all your ports at the back are going through into the right way. And it takes a bit of jiggle work, but we'll get there. There you go. Oops. 
And I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to secure it with one of the screws to make sure it's not going anywhere before I continue. This is now the pain in the butt. Right, let me adjust this. So what I'm basically going to have to do is get one of the screws and screw one of them which aligns so the motherboard doesn't go anywhere. So I'll do this first and get back to you. Okay guys, um, I've managed to align all the ports through the I.O. shield as you can see. Um, so now if you come over this way inside the case, I'll show you. So what you do is just pick one of the um, opposing holes and you're going to insert one of the screws to hold the board together like such. I'm going to pick this one. And what you must try and do is don't force it with computer building or assembling. If you see that you're forcing any screws in, it usually means that you didn't align something properly. And I think this one is not aligned properly. Let me try on this side. I've got the right screws. These don't look like the right screws. No, it's fine. So I'm going to secure this one in and do not over tighten because you may damage the filings on the screw. Right, I'm going to take this one off. Maybe it's just wrongly aligned. Okay, let me try another one. Right, so now all you need to do is to actually um, secure all the other screws. Now, from experience, I will tell you I don't secure all the screws just yet. I probably put two, three, maybe four max, because I have made mistakes before and I've had to undo them. So right now I'm gonna probably do one on this side and one on that side, just to hold it in place until I've done the rest. All right. What is going on? Doesn't seem to want to go in. Okay guys, I've actually uh, inserted all the rest of the eight screws, so uh, it's firm and secure now. So we're going to proceed to the next. Um, oh, I've seen a USB 3 sticker down here, which I should probably take off. Ah, took this off. Okay, right, 